Okay, so it says that if the measure of angle 1 is 55 degrees, find the measure of all the other angles. So, this should not be so difficult, at least half of it. Half of it we should know because we've already looked at vertical and supplementary angles. So we know that if angle 1 is 55 degrees, let me just go ahead and write 55 degrees here, then we know that angle 4 is automatically 55 degrees. And why is that? Well, that's because these two guys are vertical to each other. And then we also know that angle 1 and angle 2 are linear pairs, so that would mean that angle 2 is the result of subtracting 55 from 180 because these two must add up to 180. So what's 180? Subtract 55, that's 125. So angle 2 is 125 degrees. Let me just go ahead and write this here. So that's 125. And then we know that by default, angle 3 is also 125 because these are vertical to each other. Now, what about all these other angles? How would we find their measurements? Let me just go ahead and write 125 for angle 3. Well, I want you to just notice something, right? You'll see that we have uh, obtuse angles and we have acute angles. Now look, all the obtuse angles are equal to each other. So which, which are the obtuse ones? So angle 2, angle 3, angle 6, and angle 7. All the obtuse angles are equal to each other. And then also all the acute angles are equal to each other. So which ones are the acute? Well, that's angle 1, angle 4, angle 5, and angle 8. But we can also look at this another way. Let me show you this. If I were to just cut this thing off, right, right, split it right here, right through the middle, and then just place it right on top of the other piece that's left, you, you can see that angle 2 does indeed correspond to angle 6, right? They're exactly the same. Do you see that? Angle 2 corresponds to angle 6, and then that's how we get corresponding angles, which we'll look at that in a bit. So we can say that angle 6 is also 125 degrees. And then that would mean angle 7 is also 125 because these are vertical to each other. So angle 6 is 125 and angle 7 is also 125. And then you can also see that angle 1 corresponds to angle 5. So that means angle 5 is also 55 degrees and then angle 8 will also be 55 degrees. It's not so bad, is it? So um, let's give some formal definitions to what we just looked at. So we got parallel lines cut by a transversal. So here's the tranny, that's the one that cuts the parallel lines, cuts through them. Here's the transversal. And then these are your parallel lines right here. The arrows tell you that they're parallel. So we looked at corresponding angles. So your corresponding angles, think about it this way, right? If I were to just put, place this right on top of that, you could see that angle 2 corresponds to angle 6. Angle 1 corresponds to angle 5. And angle 3 corresponds to angle 7. And then finally you can see angle 4 corresponds to angle 8. So it's like I said earlier, right? All the obtuse angles are equal to each other and all the acute angles are equal to each other. So these are all your corresponding angles and corresponding angles are equal. We also have what's called alternate interior angles. And one way that I like to highlight this is uh, I like to just draw this Z here and then I'll I'll tell students that these angles here are your alternate interior angles. Angle 3 and angle 6 are alternate interior and they are also equal to each other. And then if you were to draw something of a backwards Z, I guess you could say, if you were to draw your Z th this way, backwards, these are your alternate interior angles. Angle 4 
and angle 5. So angle 3 is equal to angle 6 and angle 4 is equal to angle 5. Those are your alternate interior angles. We also have what's called same side interior angles. I'll tell you what those are. So same side interior angles, they're on the same side uh, and they're inside the parallel lines. Just get rid of this thing. So for example, uh, let me just go ahead and just make the transversal more, more blunt. So here's your transversal, right? So your same side interior, so they're, they're either on the left of the transversal or on the right of the transversal, but they're inside, that's why they're interior, they're inside the parallel line. So angle four and angle six are same side interior. But here's the thing, right? They're not equal to each other. Angle four and angle six are not equal to each other. Angle four plus angle six actually add up to 180 degrees. So same side interior angles are supplementary. And same thing with angle three and angle five. Angle three and angle five, they also add up to 180. So those are same side interior angles. Then we have what's called, what we like to call, same side exterior angles. So these are kind of like same side interior, except that they're exterior, they're outside of the parallel lines. So that would be angle 1 and angle 7. So angle 1 plus angle 7 add up to 180. And same side exterior angles are also supplementary. And angle 2 and angle 8. All right, so um, you need to know corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, same side interior angles, and same side exterior angles. And one way to summarize this is to just simply say that the angles formed by the intersection of transversals and two parallel lines, corresponding angles, which we looked at, alternate interior angles, which we looked at, alternate exterior which we didn't look at that's okay uh, we could look at these tomorrow in class um, same side interior which we looked at and same side exterior so let's go ahead and just one more time look at our example and we'll wrap it up here so corresponding they're equal to each other so that's angle 2 angle 6 angle 1 and angle 5 angle 4 and angle 8 angle 3 and angle 7 and we have our alternate interior let me just go ahead and draw that Z for you so angle 3 and angle 6 are alternate interior and then we have the other pair of alternate interior remember those angle 4 and angle 5 and then we got our same side interior and your same side interiors are angle 4 and angle 6, angle 3 and angle 5. And then you also have your same side exterior. So that's angle 2 and angle 8, and also angle 1 and angle 7. Okay, so I uh, hope this helps. Take care.